How you guys? Welcome back to my channel, Trusted Gem, Goddess Queen, or you can call me Queen if you want to do I answer to vote. Please like, share, subscribe, donate all that good jazz. If you like a book of reading with me, one on one session, or just donate to One Heaven on Earth, you're more than welcome to do that. Welcome back to all my returning subscribers and to all my new people. Welcome, welcome, welcome. What do you do? Okay, we're going to get straight into this. Holy Spirit, give us clear, precise messages and give us what the people need to hear. Be open to change, to rest, and uh, I have be open to change. Be open to change, be receptive to new experiences, change leads to growth. I'm ready for the new. I'm so bored. I'm, I'm ready for the new. <laughs> I'm ready for the new. Y'all know I get bored easy. Rest. Listen to your body mentally, physically, unwind. Okay? Dedication. Stay dedicated to your goals. Efforts that will reap your... Efforts that will reap success. So, somebody needs to stay dedicated to their goals. Okay? Resolving issue, solving inner conflict with others, healing past trauma. Okay. Um, I feel like, and I already did a reading on Aquarius. But I feel like somebody should reach out to their ex just so their exes can stop lingering, latching onto their energy. And that's what I'm getting here. That's past trauma with these person this person may have put you through some trauma but they're going through trauma right now because they need forgiveness they need to know that you forgive them and I, i'm picking that up heavy 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 here upset exactly they're obsessed focus too much on one situation that needs to take a step back this is a past life connection somebody 10 years with somebody yeah somebody with heavy influences from your past is with you Creativity, have fun, express yourself in new ways, spread your wings. Um, confidence that leads to freedom and growth. Communicate, receive, and express the truth. Celebration, good times for hard work, time spent in good company. So it's a lot of new energy, a lot of stuff is coming through fruition, a lot of healing is happening, especially with relationships and past life traumas. When I say past life, it could be 10 years, that could be a past life because people do grow and transmute and transform themselves into better versions of themselves, and that could be a past life experience, or it could be literally from another lifetime past time experience. Okay, so take it how it resonates. Um but what I'm what I'm definitely picking up here is that um, <clears throat> somebody definitely need to rest, um, tune into spirit, and get to um, aligning more with their goals and uh, aspirations. Because I feel like you can get caught up into wanting to do too much. That's me. Hallelujah! I take on too much, and I be like, nah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna confess. And I be like, oh, I just took I took a a, a big pill, and I, and I can barely swallow it. So. I think spirit wants you to focus on one thing at a time, and um, I had to, I had to learn that the hard way too. So let's see, let's get some more. Someone keeps saying they you hit their true identity. That card keep wanting to come out, but we're gonna see. Although we're apart, I can still feel you. This person, this got to be a twin thing, because this is coming up heavy. Ooh, 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 ooh. I wish, I wish for a, a different result. Somebody wish for a different result and then get it. Um, somebody wish for a different result and they didn't get it. Um, I, I am asphyxiated on you. I hope that someday you will forgive me. So there's a lot of people that need forgiveness and they want, I keep getting this in my readings. The last, these are the, what, the third reading that I did and they, somebody truly wants to be forgiven. I'm picking up two or three different lovers here, but somebody do want to be forgiven. When I say two or three different lovers, I mean, you know, us, the people that have experienced life, we don't have just one ex or two exes. So it could be two or three different exes from different, you know, parts of your life. And that's okay. We're not judging here. I know I'm not because I'm here, baby. I can't judge you. Now when it comes down to stuff like that, I cannot. <laughs> baby, that, it is what it is. Um, the relationship we go through is what helps mold us into better human beings or worse. So, 
depending on I'm better. So I, I, I'm grateful for my experiences. I don't know about you. I can't speak for nobody else, but I'm I'm grateful for mine. Okay, I don't regret anything that I've done. Um, I'm not in the mood. Someone is not in what? Yeah, somebody is not in the mood. That's why they are not speaking through the music. That's why they are not creating. That's why they are not. And this person, because this person is asphyxiated on you, and when it's when it's some one or something become an exception, you have to keep your distance from it because you keep observing it and you're not interacting with it. You're you're observing it, and that's the person is not in the mood to communicate. This person is not in the mood to to do anything to show you any emotions, any like, you know. So this person is in one of those moods. they need you they need you I knew that was gonna come out and, and the reason why I knew it was gonna come out because once somebody is officiated on you they was like dang I need this person and, and it's a lot not a lot of people but it's I don't know I, I date a certain type of man uh, a man um and, and they when they need me they act a certain way and I was just like I'm, I'm so expressive I'm the type of person like I need you come like come I need you like come here like you know I'm, I'm just gonna tell you and I'm not like I'm not wanting them to take out what I'm going through I'm like I need you can I talk to you can you just meet me or can we can you come by the house or something like that that's me I'm not the type of person like oh I'm going through no I, I just need you I need to talk to you I need to see you your point of view because I, I don't like to be stuck on nobody I don't like no situation if I'm in love with you yes of course I'm gonna be but this is like this person is hurting and they don't know how or where. They don't know which way to go. They need directions. And that's why they need you. Because your advice is the best advice. Okay. Where is that? Oh, there it is. What does this person need, the Holy Spirit, from... They need your courage, your confidence, your independence, your focus, your zest for life, your determination, your joy. So they need your solar plexus energy. They need you to boost them up. To gas them. And uh, frankly, mm, I don't know how I feel about that, but that's what they need. What else do they need, Spirit? They need, Spirit said they need courage to contact you. They need to be active. They need to progress. They need to stop being stuck on you and go ahead. Like, I ain't never seen somebody that needs somebody so bad but won't come contact them. I ain't never seen somebody. And I'm not trying to be mean. It's just me. I, I'm not that type of person. I have never been. If something scared me, I'm going to jump on here and do it. Like, what? A, what? But some people get so scared until it makes them anxious and they don't, they just sit there and they're like, I need you, I need you. And they want you to read that. And this is like, especially if a woman got kids and you're not around me, baby, close my eyes, don't get fed. That's all I got to say. You can learn the hard way. I had to learn the hard way too because I used to be shy. I'm like, oh, but they know that this and that. No, 